cuticle remover with aloe is new. I did try the cuticle remover. I want to say it's from Sassy and Chic. I'm not sure, and it does work. Um, so I'm excited to try this one as well. I'll be seeing these beauty blender travel cases. They have the strawberry, a pear, and they have the pineapple. Nice stocking stuff for ideas, or nice for a glam basket. They also have this cuticle remover with aloe. I tried the Sassy and Chic cuticle remover, remover and it actually did work, so I'm excited for that. If you see this blush from e.l.f., it is absolutely gorgeous. It's in the color Brick Red. I only hauled one of them, and after I tried it, I immediately regretted not getting more, and then I couldn't find it, so I found it again. Do not pass on this Brick Red blush. Also, I'm seeing this lippy from elf it is dream on lip gloss it's called a moment and it looks like a nice iridescent neutral gloss these new cosmetic bags with butterflies they're like holographic and iridescent they have it in pink they have gold they have blue and they have silver they don't hold a lot but they are cute as hell so i mean why not right first time seeing this tea tree daily cleanser hydrate skin with tea tree extract and it's paraben free first time seeing that I'm um, new is this power stick Timbercent beard oil it's a six oil blend they've had beard oil before I believe from softy but I've never seen it from power stick and the oil is, they have sweet almond oil, avocado oil, MCT coconut oil, apricot oil, jojoba seed oil, and argan oil. So that's the six oil blend. This year, it seems like Dollar Tree redoes the cobblestone corner um, little Christmas village pieces. Um, they do have the same buildings but it looks like they have upgraded them so this is the church for this year um you could get a tea light to put inside his cobblestone candy toy village is new really really cute and this just looks like a house um the bottle trees are the same they didn't change them but they again upgraded the miniature so they have santa mail they have the mailman they did the uh, park bench with the lamps but this is new looks like somebody gathering wood they have a snowman and santa claus they have the red truck and the camper and then they just have a little boy snow tubing a little girl on a sled and a little boy or their dad throwing snowballs so the detail has improved tremendously if you remember what the figurines look like you couldn't really make out their faces sometimes so they really did a good job of upgrading uh, the cobblestone corners winter village for 2021 homes have returned these look like the same ones that they had last year and this end cap is in the back of the store so normally we would go to the christmas section and look for these items so a lot of times i'm finding especially this year dollar tree is doing in caps like in the back of the store so don't get discouraged if you go to the christmas section and you don't see what you want uh, just walk around the store they could have put it in a different section why i don't know but it could be because they still have a lot of halloween and harvest items out these fabric ornaments are new, so they have the reindeer, the Christmas trees, and the scarves. Um, they brought back these, which I, these are always a uh, fave of mine. And for some reason, they just look more gold and more sparkly to me these this year, but they have been around for a while. I see some things that I want in the box, but of course, they're all the way at the bottom, so um, I'll check back tomorrow to see if they unpack them but these gold sparkly ones they have them and i don't know 
a lighter I wouldn't even say a beige with gold sprinkles they have them in white um, but these right here are my fave okay it's been more than it's been some hours I gave them time to unpack the box but I came back this morning the box was still unpacked so this is something that was definitely on my wish list Dollar General had ice skates last year but they were larger and they were I believe $3.99 so they have them in the black and white buffalo plaid they have this black white and red plaid one they have the red and black buffalo plaid these are really really cute and they are new for 2021 home decor signs these shadow boxes this one says our family laughs works plays and loves together this one says very blessed with good friends and great family then they have these square ones a metsy kitchen is a happy kitchen laundry sorting out one load at a time and this one says turn your troubles into bubbles and this one says my home my family my life these glasses with the lines are new um yeah i'm not seeing any larger ones i'm just seeing the juice size glasses with the lines in fact the intimates hot cocoa um k cups there's nothing wrong with these um it's just that this do not add more than six ounces of water or you're gonna have a watery hot cocoa so just keep that in mind never heard of this brand before base pantry basics never heard of them before it's not a dollar tree product but i'm seeing worcestershire sauce i'm seeing soy sauce and i'm seeing steak sauce i i'm not going to be the first one to try it <laughs> i'll wait for one of you guys to try it and let me know but i am seeing these in multiple locations this brand this is new they're calling this odo ban eliminates odors it's a disinfectant fabric and air freshener the scent is original scent is eucalyptus um it kills 99 percent of germs and flu viruses haven't seen this before at dollar tree and you're getting a four fluid ounce bottle for a dollar also seeing this pine glow antibacterial and disinfectant all-purpose cleaner kills 99 percent of bacteria and viruses kills the virus that causes covid 19 um and you're this is a nice size bottle it's 33 fluid ounces and also i'm seeing the comment still and this also says it kills the virus that causes COVID 19 but if you're you know if you like both cleaners you're going to get more with this bottle of pine glow hi guys i'm back with the dollar tree haul i wasn't sure if i would be back this week um Today is Friday. Um, today starts my three-day weekend. Have to work. It's all fun and games when I'm off, right? But you got to pay it back. Can't be off every weekend. Not in healthcare. Very rare. I mean, there's ways to do it, but it's not that easy. So we're gonna jump into this uh, Dollar Tree haul. Not a lot of in-store, but hopefully you've seen some things that you're interested in as well. Um, this is a repurchase for me. I use this in my chili. I also use this in the beef stew, but I did pick out most of the green peppers, which some most of these blends give you more onions than anything, and that's what I wanted. But this also has celery, which I wanted, and it also has parsley, uh, which I wanted, but this was perfect, perfect. That beef stew was amazing. It really was a hit. Another food find, and for some reason, I thought I had nacho cheese, but I put picked up the Clancy's cheese sauce at Aldi's. And normally I love everything at Aldi's. Very rare have I been dissatisfied. I can count on one hand how many times I bought something from Aldi's and didn't like it. And I did not like that Clancy's cheese sauce. And I just assumed it was nacho cheese sauce. So I seen this in Dollar Tree. I didn't buy it, but I'm going to give it a try because I can't seem to find queso in the stores. So... Uh, this is nacho cheese sauce, salsa de queso, so 
um, yeah, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to transfer this into a Tupperware container and see if I like it. If I don't, I don't. Um, but I was very disappointed with that Clancy's cheese sauce. Um, on the label, which you guys know sometimes, your girl, her reading is a little sketchy. Um, it's said for like broccoli, it's said for potatoes, it's said for nachos. It was disgusting. I can't see putting it on anything. Um, it went straight into the garbage. So yeah, that's my only food purchases. In the household department, I found this spray. It's Odo Ben. Okay. Eliminates odors. It's a disinfectant, fabric and air freshener, original eucalyptus scent. Um, kills 99% of germs, ready to use. Um, I think it said it killed the flu virus. And I'm going to put this in my work bag because, you know, it's that time of year. Some of the kids are getting sick. Some of the kids have already had the flu. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to bring this to work with me. I just want to smell it. That really wasn't a... Okay, I get where they say eucalyptus. It's it, it, it is a pleasant smell. It is a pleasant smell. I don't disinfected what I have in my lap. So I picked up three of them. Okay, I like that you can carry it with you. It's the perfect size to transport around. Something else I bought, and I bought two of these. Um, I have not seen this before. I have seen the comment um, disinfectant cleaner. But I have not seen the Pine Glow. And it says it's made in the USA. Kills the virus that causes COVID-19. Kills the rotavirus. Kills the SARS-CoV-2 virus. The human coronavirus. The Norwalk virus or the norovirus. Kills colds and flu virus. So it kills a lot of things. And it's a fresh citrus scent. And look how much product you're getting. And it does not smell bad. And also... Um, you can put this in a smaller container and label it accordingly and take it with you if you travel because um, you're not going to be going around <laughs> with this big bottle. But this is a good thing to bring with you because I can tell you, I was telling my mother last night, the past couple of weekends that we've been staying at hotels, you can see the decline since COVID in hotels. They're just not, it's just not the same experience. The price is the same if not higher but the level of service that you get nowadays in restaurants and hotels the service industry has suffered tremendously so i suggest when you travel bring you a little disinfectant cleaner because it's it's the way they're so short staff you can best believe shortcuts were made okay so you can definitely put that in a travel container and uh, take it with you. I did not see any more of the new laundry finds. Um, I'm so glad I racked up when I did because the pods are gone and the locations that I'm going to. I don't even see the scent boosters in the locations that I'm going to. So um, I'm glad I racked up when I did. But there are a couple of new laundry finds that I'm seeing. i seen on Instagram um, a gel bleach and... Um, new fabric softener so hoping it makes it our way so for mr fuller i had bought him two pairs of sunglasses from ross and it didn't come with cases so just to protect them until he can get a case that he wants or most likely he'll just use these these are his he loves lime green and i got him a black so those are them but what stuck out to me is these sunglasses that were on the rack now if you guys know me you know i love big frames I love, I have a big face, I love big frames. But these stuck out to me. If I don't like them, I can give them to my mom. But these were on the rack. I mean, it's not, these are a little bit too small for me, y'all. I don't know. They're cute. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep them or if I'm gonna give them to Hattie. But either way, I thought these were cute for a dollar. Look at them, Very, really, really cute. I love animal prints. So I did pick up those. And it's like in a nice, like, purpley leopard. I like them. So I got them. I'm trying to stay in order. Something I found in my travels, uh, stopped in the Dollar Tree in New Bern after we went to dinner last night with my mom. And these are from Gold Toe. 
And these are power socks with power gripped foot footbed and you get two pairs, okay? I only seen this one pack. Now I'm gonna open them because I wanna see the size of them because it says small. These are very well made. Oh yeah, these are small. But you know what, Mr. Fuller could, <laughs> the way he squeezed in chunk socks, yeah, he may be able to wear these. If not, I'll just have to send them to my chunk of monk. So either way, it's still a win-win. And two pair, I don't see what the price would have been, but you know these are well worth a dollar. And these are the only ones that I've seen. And I didn't realize it said small, but I still would have bought them because like I said, um, somebody always can use them. Seeing more home decor items. Um, and they have new shadow boxes out and I love this. This is going to go in my kitchen and I just love it. It says leftovers are for quitters. Isn't that so cute? Love it, love it, love it. So I got that one. This could have saved me the other day. This most likely would have saved me. And my mom reminded me when we were in Dollar Tree. She watched the video so she knew what the potato pie was going to be. She said she could tell... But then she said she wasn't sure if she's just saying that because she knows it's a mental thing. But, um, yeah, because um, I brought her some beef stew and uh, some pie last night. And this is what I needed. Now, I don't remember the one I had in New York from Dollar Tree if it was plastic. I don't think it was metal. So I'm glad she reminded me because I really feel a potato masher would have helped. I don't think the blades from the whisk or the beater was getting to all of the chunks to help mash them up because they definitely were cooked and tender. I just don't think the blades were getting there. And uh, yeah, I think this would have helped me and I needed one anyway. So I'm glad she reminded me of that. Now we're going to get into the makeup finds and it's not many. Um, by me, very rare do I see any of the new makeup finds that I see people hauling in different areas. LA, uh, Texas, um, New York. I miss my Dollar Trees in New York. But, um, just not seeing it. And when I went to New Bern last night, now I did originally haul this blush a few weeks back. Okay. And I only got one because it's brick red and I felt like it would be too dark for me, but I'm actually wearing it now. I love it. Um, so when I went to New Bern last night, cause I went back to the Dollar Tree down here that I got it from gone. I checked all of the Dollar Trees actually. And I have four in my area and these were all gone. Not specifically looking for this, but I was making my rounds and it was gone. So I found it in New Bern and I thought I bought three. I only bought two and I gave my mom one. So I have another one. I like it. She thinks it's the same thing that I thought when I first seen it. Like, whoa, that's so dark for a blush. But it really is a gorgeous blush and I love it. I'm disappointed I only bought two. I thought I got three. Something else I seen, and I tried this on last night. I did buy three of these, okay? And one is in the house already, and I tried it on, and I like it. It's just a gloss. It's just a lip gloss. I won't say it's super sparkly or whatever, but your lips will be popping, and the texture feels good. Um, I've never tried an Elf lip gloss before, and this was my first. And I, for a dollar, definitely not disappointed. So I did get three of these. Let me clear my lap. Because then we're going to get into my Christmas finds. And again, I told you guys that I'm doing a black Christmas tree. I made up my mind. I was even thinking of, listen, they have an ombre Christmas tree that's white, gray, and black. I will attach a picture right here for you. They also have an ombre gold and black Christmas tree, but it's hundreds of dollars. I'm not paying three, four hundred dollars for a Christmas tree. I'm just not. But I was thinking of getting an all white Christmas tree and spray painting it. I know I'm crazy, but I was thinking of doing that. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to stick with the black, but I don't know. I might do that. So you just never know. Just stay tuned. It's still early guys, but look at those. You see those trees are gorgeous, but I'm just not paying three fifty dollars for it. I'm sorry. I'm not, I would pay a hundred. I would pay, um, one fifty. 
Would I pay 200? I don't know. I'm not going to lie to you, but I just can't see myself cuz I just can't see myself going over $200 for a tree just because it's two colors. I I, I just can't. You got to draw the line somewhere. So, getting into my Christmas finds, I did make it back to Dollar Tree and I did um get the little I guess this is a little bird house I don't know I'm gonna put this on a tear tray for my kitchen um, I thought this was kind of cute I'm not gonna use this as an ornament um, I'll show you that later and I did get two of the ice skates I will show you a picture here of the ones I got because I don't know where they went I I don't know they're somewhere but I have them and I'm going to paint the blades of the ice skate silver to make them look more realistic that's where i think dollar tree dropped the ball they could have used a uh a, a metallic or a mirror like sticker to make it look like metal and that would have took it to that would have took it to the top dollar general did have ice skates last year and they were larger than that and they were $3.99 um i'm excited to see because if dollar tree is coming out with these items i'm just excited to see what dollar general is going to have because their christmas decorations are nice i went in there the other day they still had fall and harvest out so i'm excited for that now the tree is going to be black or ombre you never know and my main color is going to be gold okay so black and gold i could not leave these behind now i probably in my christmas decorations that i brought with me have some of these balls and that's fine and that's great if i do um i really i gave my sister all of my buffalo plaid um decorations the pillow covers i gave her everything buffalo plaid um I'm just over it, and this year Dollar Tree has so much more Buffalo Plaid. I only did it one year, and already I'm over it. Um, so, yes, look how gorgeous these are. And these just look more sparkly and more gold to me this year. I don't know why. And then I got two of each kind, and they didn't have many in this gold color. I think I bought whatever they had left. Um, sorry, guys. And the glitter is in this bag. I don't want to get this glitter everywhere. Then I got two of these, okay? And on the in-store, you've seen the other colors they have, but I was not interested in them. I got to get some spray and spray uh, these or some hairspray. Just I don't want this gold all over the place. So that's why I'm keeping them in a separate bag. And I got two of these. And then with those other gold ones I found uh, oh, last weekend from the Dollar Tree Plus store, um... It's going to be gorgeous and i'm looking for a ribbon now with all of these gold ornaments i'm thinking of my ribbon can't be i don't want too much gold if you know what i mean i don't know quite how i'm going to do it but i'm going to do it that's all i can tell you stick with me you'll see that i'm going to do something um but i was looking for a gold and black buffalo plaid ribbon even though that's still gold i did see some pretty ribbon it was gold white and black that somebody put on their black christmas tree that was absolutely gorgeous i can try to find it or find a similar one um but i'm gonna tie it all together but um yeah that's my dollar tree haul guys if you don't hear from me for the next three days i'm working and usually on the days i work i don't do anything else i just go to work rest repeat that's work rest repeat work rest repeat uh so you might not hear from me until monday or tuesday but no i am hustling doing what i gotta do and uh yes yeah, so i oh this is what i wanted to show you i did go into walmart and i didn't uh record anything because um why because they, they weren't out completely it, it really wasn't out but something that i have already and i hope i brought with me but if not um this is perfect because it kind of matches my black white and gold theme so maybe it's going to be gold white and black i don't know um i have this sign from walmart and it says wise men still seek him but mine wasn't this color i think mine was more of a wood background with white wording and I just love this one I always love this wise men still seek him and um, this was only a dollar ninety eight so yeah they don't have all of their stuff out yet but they were starting to put it out 
But at the end of this video, I want to show you. I ran in Burlington because I haven't been in there a while. And I just wanted to see. And they started putting out their Christmas stuff. I would like some of those bling Christmas trees and some of those bling ornaments. But they only had them in silver or rose gold. And I want gold. Um, yeah. Um, so I am going to find them. I know I'll find some sparkly. Why am I yawning, y'all? Another thing that I did. I got nothing accomplished, okay? Just cooked that beef still in the pie. I really didn't do anything else. I kind of think I'm catching up from last week and when we went to that concert. We are getting old to be going to hip hop concerts. Uh, but we went to Greensboro. And I think really because we came off from work that Thursday into Friday, got a couple hours sleep, and then we got on the road. It was like a non stop weekend. So I think I really think I catched up from rest. Uh, from that weekend because well I, I did a lot of sleeping this week I really and that's not like me usually I'm up early I'm hitting the stores I really didn't even go to the stores this week like I normally do which probably was a good thing um because I would have spent money that I shouldn't have probably or whatever but anyway yeah so if you don't hear from me well, I shouldn't be going now but if you don't hear from me I will see you and I apologize I will see you guys next week take care have a great weekend Thank you.